In this presentation, we will discuss performing and documenting tests of controls, starting off with the performing. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and use ourselves. Acer 27 inch monitor. I've been using an Acer monitor as my primary monitor for a few years now. This is the first Acer monitor that I have used after having used a series of different brands of monitors in the past. The Acer monitor has been performing well and I'm trusting the Acer brand more and more as I use the monitor. I have a 27 inch monitor, which I think is ideal for what I do, which is of course the screen recording and the editing. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials of tests of controls recalling what tests of controls are they're going to be the responsibility of management management setting up the tests of controls the control system often including some format of checks and balances some separation of duties we can imagine then how could we as the auditor go in and test the internal controls well a large part of it is going to be us going in and having inquiry asking questions about the internal controls now we already we already have an idea of the general set of internal controls obviously we as an auditor we're going to say hey there's some set of internal controls that i have an idea of some that would apply to basically any type of industry some that might be specific to this particular type of industry we want to then go in with our understanding of what we would think of as controls make inquiries about what controls are in place obviously many of those inquiries will be talking to top management as well as the people that are involved in basically regulating the internal control so we'll get an idea of the internal controls now you might be thinking how is that a test on the internal controls well of, of course first thing we need to do it's not the most reliable test to uh, actually just get a map of the internal controls that should be in place by management who are the people that basically we are in essence reviewing however we, we if we get an independent idea of what the internal controls are from management we can compare and contrast it to see whether or not it lines up to basically our idea of internal controls or our idea of what assertions they should be basically putting controls in place for and so we're going to get their idea of what what the internal control is we're going to basically be able to map that out to what we have now of course that doesn't test whether or not the internal controls are being put in place correctly uh, or not it just gives us an idea of what they're telling us the internal controls should be in a narration type form typically inspection of documents showing the performance of the control procedures now remember whenever we think about controls we think about two sides of it one do you have internal controls do you have a good system of internal controls is it mapped out does it go along with the assertions that we would expect uh, to be in place given your industry and two did are they actually being implemented so this would be more on the implementation side now we're going to say okay this is what we believe the internal controls are do considering our inquiry we know what the internal control system should look like now we're going to see are they actually happening are they being put in place we could do that with inspection of the documents showing the performance of the control procedures we're digging into the documentation not doing substantive testing now testing the controls testing the procedures testing the checks and balances observe the application of the control procedures so we can go in and actually do observations to see if the control procedures the checks and balances the oversights are happening the separation of duties are happening so we're doing audit work that we would typically think of you might think of on more substantive testing where we actually go out and do some observation here but here no we're not doing testing of the account balances we're doing testing of the controls because if we can we can ascertain that the controls are in place are strong then we can do less of the substantive testing there so we're still at the at the facility at the client's place instead of as the homey office over at our auditor's office but 
uh, we expect to be able to spend less time over at the client's place over here by testing the controls as opposed to us doing a lot more testing over at the client's place, having them pull in invoices and doing other substantive type testing on the substantive level. And then we have the reperformance of the application of the control procedure by the auditor. So of course, if we want to test the controls, whether they're done well, we could reperform the control in certain circumstances and see if we come out to the same result. Next, we're going to document the level of control risk achieved. Documentation may include working papers. So of course, we're going to put together our working papers as we do our testing as documentation. We're thinking about that documentation that we're going to be piling up the evidence. The controls are going to be a part of our evidence, not just the substantive testing. The controls are part of our evidence to, to, to verify and back up support our opinion. Internal control questionnaires. So we're going to have internal control questionnaires supporting our opinions and memorandum type of formats. We're going to have memo type of formats, a more narrative type of format uh, that will be supporting our documentation as well.